Um, hello to all of the YouTube world or the Facebook or on the Anthony Furniture or American Toy Furniture dot com page. This is actually my second recording. Uh, my first one, I <laughs> I love learning new neck technology, but I left the um, Bluetooth on the Bluetooth speaker. So of course I recorded for 15 minutes. Went to review the video and realized there was no audio. So I'm learning a lot. I love it. I got this new device called a gimbal where I hold it in my hand and it kind of steadies it a little bit. I can zoom in and out. I can record on it. It's pretty cool. I'm still learning it. A lot of little issues yet. Um, I do want to apologize. I didn't do a video last week because I uh, had a lot of good news in my life. Uh, my personal life. I don't want to share that till next week to make sure I don't jinx myself. Um, otherwise, I also want to thank the 150 people who actually watched my first couple of videos. Now, they were really short, so I don't know. These are going to be probably about 10, 15 minutes long. I don't know if we'll get that many again, hopefully. Like I said, I'm trying to do something that's interesting and fun. The other thing we also could use some help with is a name for our YouTube channel. I have, um, right now we're just under the American Toy and Furniture YouTube channel, but we really would like to maybe a different name. Uh, it's going to be about woodworking. I got a lot of other ideas I would like to do. I have a huge collection of like toys I like to unveil. So there's different things I'd like to try. But today we're just going to do a small short tour of the shop. It's really cold outside. I noticed in the back the lights aren't turning on. So I don't know if we'll get a good shot of that. Maybe until it warms up and it gets brighter outside so I can open some doors. Other than that, I'm just going to start it. Let me switch this camera around so I can get you guys on the other side. Okay. For some reason, it will not let me... Um, it will not let me flip it. So I'm learning still. This is basically the entrance to our wood shop. I don't want to show it back yet because we're putting in some bathrooms and stuff. It's really messy behind me. Not that this isn't messy, but it's a lot more messier behind me. So I will show that at a different date. We also bought a time-lapse camera, which will help us out, I think, a lot with um, showing our projects as they get done. Because this summer we have a couple big projects planned, and I really would like to record those and put those online so we can see the progression. Um, we are right now are just walking into our finishing area. This is where we do all our finishing. Now, I normally do this on the weekends because I work a full-time job during the week. So this is when I get to work in here, which I'm really lucky because I get to listen to my YouTube and all that stuff while I'm working. So it's really not a bad setup. Um, the spray booth is just a small little baby one. We got two nice new ones in the back in storage that hopefully we can put up next year, which would be nice. Um, here's the drying racks. Uh, I think that finishing is probably one of my favorite parts in woodworking because I really do like seeing the finished product after all that work. Oh, air compressor, let me go shut that off. Oh, there's our finishing area. Here's our packing and assembly area. Like I said, my wife is kind of taking this into the business over for me because like I said, I am super busy with what's going on in my personal life. So she's actually been in here taking this work from me, which has really helped out, relieved a lot of stress. So it's been really nice. Uh, over here is our clothing area where we do all our clothing and you can select one of the seven colors we have in stock. It's Veltro. So especially on the newer uniforms, you're able to uh, put your patches right onto our cases, which is, I think, really a nice benefit. You don't have to try to find sticky Velcro tape and put it on and all that stuff. So over here is just some more area storage. Uh, there's our Hoffman key machine. It's probably like one of the newest pieces of equipment I have in the shop. Makes little keys. I will definitely show that at a later date once uh, I get that figured. He has a video going of us using that machine and putting some frames together. I think that'd be kind of interesting for people. Like I said, I'm trying to find things that people want to see and learn about. Here's just another area of storage. It's all our office supplies. We don't have office currently, so we've been officing in our house right now so hopefully when we get an office built the next year we'll get to be able to put that here's our taylor wood clamp 
This is where we glue up all our panels. After we salvage all our lumber, we go through and glue all the panels in this machine. We normally do this in the summertime. That's because it's a lot warmer. We got the door open and stuff like that. So that's something you'll see definitely this summer. So this area that we're in is about 3,000 square feet heated is what we have right now. And then we have another, what is it about 8,000 that's cold. So I, oh, um, like I said, so this is the part that we always work in. Here is the wood shop. Uh oh, I gotta check to see if the speaker just tried to connect again because last time it screwed all the audio up. So let me check before I get too far into this video. I can always edit. Okay, I'll be back. Actually, I think it was a false alarm. I think it was just the speaker shutting itself down. So, yep, we got a little wood burner in here. Um, she's actually being replaced this next year to a larger unit. So this is her last year using her and then we'll be putting a new one in, which is good. Um, here's just a little drill that we just do like samples, little projects on. Here is our prepping station. This is where we actually go through after the frames are built and we sand them all to be sent off to the finishing area. Got a little drown draft table. Um, that's a reach in person. I think we just got that about two years ago. It really makes the night shop a lot dustier than it used to be. So, and then over here is our 45 machine, which I've taken videos of Buckaroo cutting on the 45 machine. We use this quite often. Here's a, over here is a dust, little baby dust collector we have for this room. Um, Yep, here's our little time saver sander. Picked this up about 15 years ago. We got our money's worth out of this puppy. Would like to upgrade it to something with a double drum now. So hopefully that'll be on the docket for another next year or two years from now, depending on how our Kickstarter goes. That's the big one. And we just have a couple little baby shapers in here, saws, a pin router, <clears throat> stuff like that for other side projects that we do for customers. Here's our new assembly area, trying to get this all straightened up and put together and organized. So this is kind of a new thing we just started working on maybe about two weeks ago. <coughs> Excuse me. There's our little edge sander that we use. So this is all the heated shop. So this is the first 3,000 square feet. Then the last, I think seven or eight, I think it's, a, yeah, eight, cause it's 11 total. So it's gonna be a lot darker back here. So I don't know how good this video will actually turn out because we don't have a lot of lights on back here because the fluorescents do not like the cold. It is six degrees out today when I'm recording. So it definitely is, we don't use this very much in the winter. We do most of our processing in the summertime. That way we don't have to come out here as much. Here's our gang rip, M2 gang rip. It really speeds things up for us. Cause then we gang rip our rough lumber and then we send it out to a company to be molded in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. But hopefully we can stop that this year too. Here's our cute little loading dock. Uh, it's always full of stuff. There's like 15,000 things going on in here. So it's always a point where it's always cluttered, cutting down some firewood for the winter, for the wood burn. Oh, and going the wrong way. There is, it's hard to see, but there's two old Richardson chuckers. Those are the machines that we really want to get running for our Kickstarter also because they drill, I think, one part every second they do. So this is something we really want to get put together and running this summer for sure. And I will be going over the Kickstarter probably in about two weeks right now. I'm just trying to get some videos out there before we announce what our plan of attack is. So here's a bell boring machine. This cuts 45s too. You put a part in, does two at a time was a lot faster. Finally got that running this last summer. That sped up production. Here is, let's see here, there's our planer. Super old, probably the second oldest piece I have in my shop. I think it's from the 1920s, maybe 30s. Really old, 27 inch, works really good. Loud, but works good. Um, here's our newest, one of our newer additions. We got a Madison molder on that tart. Just gotta put some dust collection up this summer and get this puppy wired in. And this is also on the Kickstarter to get running because this will help us a lot. So we don't have to keep sending everything to another company. And back here's the big mess from uh, hell, I guess the best way to put it. This is basically a lot of storage. There's machines back here, parts for machines, 
This is where we keep our inventory for all our flag cases, wooden parts, stuff like that. This is going to definitely be cleaned out this summer, and hopefully we're going to pour half of the concrete in here. Um, this building's not flat because it was originally a barn. So what ended up happening is there's only concrete in the middle, and then on the sides is actually a step down, which is really hard to show you because there's no light. So we're going to hopefully clean this all out and then pour the concrete on this half. And then we want to put in our chain conveyor for dipping so we can go faster and move a bunch of our machines around so we have a lot more room in our shop so it's not so cluttered. So this is kind of what the plan is. I don't think we'll be able to see much in here because it's so dark. So I'm just going to step down and kind of show you. But this whole back area here is about 6,000 square feet. So we got plenty of space to, to do stuff with. But I'll have to wait till a brighter day where all the fluorescents are working because it's not so cold. Um, let's see here. Is there really anything else? I guess just thank you to everybody who's watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. I think I did mention earlier, if you guys could try to think of a name for our YouTube channel. Right now, everything's under American Toy and Furniture, our Facebook, our YouTube channel, and our um, uh, website. So we're trying to break it up a little bit, and I would like to find a snazzy name for our YouTube channel. Something maybe fun, something a little interesting. I don't know. So, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching this, and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.